Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday and I have a couple projects I want to do with this. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's say hi and hugs to Jenny, Darla, Sarah, and Sherry. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, this is the Helena Area Phone Book. It is also where I use up paint so that I don't waste it. Whether I'm, I guess I was just smearing that on there. Um, same with that. These are um, clean offs from doing jelly printing. So, um, in my spirit of using things this year, I thought I would play with these a little bit. First thing I want to do is let's make some stack and whack tags with these. Um, I'm really, what's on the back of this one? Let's use this one. So I'm going to use that side of that one. I think I'll use this side of this one. Those I want to save for another project. Should we do... Should we do this, maybe? Why not? Okay. That dark green might be interesting, too. But let's see what else we've got. Mmm, these are bright. Let's use this side of that. Mmm, I like that side too. And it's shiny, so that might be fun. Okay, so I'm going to set this side for just a minute. And we are going to get... Our papers the right size for this little project um, let's get the tear ruler I think that will be the easiest okay and I'm gonna be picky about my area on each on each page too like I think I want that I think I want to tear that off at about there. Okay. And then we'll just use one of these as our template, kind of. And start getting them torn. Okay, so I'm making a stack of scraps over there. Okay, and then and then here. Just about working off my table here. Okay, so there's there's page number one. Set that aside. Here I think I want right about here. So let's just set the tag there. And So basically what these are going to be is backgrounds for, you know, whatever, whatever sort of focal point we want. Now I think I wanted, wanted more pink. Let's go right there. And then that side. Okay, this I want the, I think I want the shiny mostly. So let's go, let's go right about there. Right about there. And. 
and I'm gonna go up here a little bit because I ripped that wonky. Of course I did. You guys would have laughed at me trying to find my trying to find my phone book. I haven't used it. I've been using um, labels as my roll off sheets when I'm jelly printing. Idea from Carrie the Crafter, by the way. Hi, Carrie. And um, so I haven't been using my phone book. And it was at, I, I looked in the drawer, I did, I looked in this drawer where my jelly plates live and I'm like, well, I don't know, it's been so long since I used it, maybe I moved it. Well, no, it was at the bottom, <laughs> the very bottom of the, of the drawer. So, you know, there you go. So yeah, now phone books are like so skinny, they're not even worth doing, I feel like. Ooh, that's a cool one. It's got lots of shiny on it too. I was thinking is these would be good for my grungy journal and I don't know they might be just just good in general I think I'm gonna go here I want some of the black but I don't want the whole thing to be black so let's just go with this right to the bottom there. I think I will. Okay. That side's pretty too, but I'm going to use that side. Okay. So now we are going to stack them and whack them. <laughs> okay. I did not get my, did not get my little clips out. Oh, I have to remember those. I'm going to throw those over on my Alice, the white rabbit clips. Okay, this one, I'll just use a big one. So I have several other videos on the stack and whack method. So if you search Gail Augustinelli stack and whack should come up. Okay. Put all my crap and junk back in. Not that it's crap and junk. It's my hand lotion. Okay. So we're just going to go. I'm going to go. Okay, and we'll go, let's go like this, and like this. Okay, so now I am going to put out my cards, and these are cut up fo file folders that are just cut three by seven. Okay, so first upper left stack. Let's go here, 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 and here. Okay. 
Okay, next stack. I'm gonna start on the second one now so that we mix them up. That one, that one, that one, this one, and this one. Okay, middle stack. Starting on the third card, that one, Ooh, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, bottom left, starting on number four, here, here, here. Come on, here and here. Starting on the last one. So we are on five. Okay, ooh, love them, okay. So oh, I can get rid of those. Ooh, big sleeves. I've got big sleeves today. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of shove these aside so that I can work on one at a time. Okay, you come here. Glue book at the ready. Glue stick at the ready. Let's do this thing. So I'm going to start at the bottom just because it's handy. Now you could go ahead and distress the edges of all of these. But I am not going to today. The feel of the telephone page is really nice because they're they're very thin and it's it's just a lovely it's a lovely feel when it's got paint on it. I will say I do have several other phone books at the ready. <laughs> I kind of as they were coming out, I was kind of hoarding them because I'm like, okay, this is a thing of the past. This is not going to, you know, I'm not going to get any more of these. Well, every, every couple of years I do, I get another one, but. Okay, there's that one. And look at that. We used, well, we kind of used five pages. Ooh, come down here. Ooh, I like it. I like it. It's very fun. We're kind of off kilter a little bit. That's okay. Can always distress a little in the crack or something, but there's that one. Ooh, the back side of this one was pretty too. That's the only trouble. Of course, I guess you could just go on on the front, right? And then you wouldn't have to decide which side you like the best. Ooh, look at that. That's shiny. But it's getting glued down. I think that's what I might start doing is just going on one side. Might come back to this. I have plenty of labels and I don't use them very often. 
So, I might go back to the old telephone book method of using up paint. You know, it's just no sense in like having paint in your palette and just washing it down the drain or something. So, might as well make your own painty papers. Okay, there's that one. Let's get a new, new blue page. My book is falling apart. I know somebody's going to say, oh, Gail, you glued over that picture. You know, you can only use so much. <laughs> and I've had a, I've had a day of, well, the project that I did for um, Patreon was, uh, I had to do some digging for the stuff for it, and I found all... I've got, I don't know, three or four Forgotten Friends Fridays all already figured out here. <laughs> that says Montana State. That's kind of fun. Did I tell you our little Addie? She was fundraising. That's why it's on my mind. Um, she is her her college, Colorado Mesa University, next year, they are taking the volleyball team to Europe. And, you know, Europe's kind of the hotbed of professional volleyball. I mean, maybe it's just because there's so many countries in Europe. I don't know. Ooh, that one I like, too. Um, so, anyway... She will just be a freshman, but they're taking everyone, so I'm super excited for her. So we got sweet little texts thanking us today from her. Also got a letter from the school, but, but yeah, I feel very blessed to be able to support such things. And, um... I'm just so excited for her. What an experience. And to be with all of her volleyball buddies, how special. Well, they will be by then. They will have gone through a season together. I mean, as you know, as I've told you, her friend Carson is going to the same college, so they're buddies already. And then, and she's going to play volleyball too. And they're majoring in the same major. So they're going to, they're going to see a lot of each other over the next four years. Let's see, where am I? Got to make sure I'm gluing the correct side. So these are pretty snappy to get done too, aren't they? Darcy, I was thinking of you with the, using up paint in a phone book because my pal Darcy's misadventures with mixed media she does a lot of painty stuff okay this one then we're gonna cut them and then we're gonna start another project And I'm going to do my video. I'm going to go read my book. And then we have Katie's basketball today. We were going to go, but then my son-in-law and daughter ended up having to, well, not having to, but offering to 
take another mom. And so, you know, Mike's not totally comfortable with his health stuff around semi-strangers. So, and I was looking forward to a big visit with the kids catching up, but that's not going to happen with somebody else in the car. So we decided we'd just watch it here at home. And then it also saves them some time not having to come up to our neighborhood to pick us up. And they're going to be cutting it close as is with my son-in-law's work day being what it is. Okay. So these are going to be tags. So let's cut this one. I'm gonna go kinda long and skinny on this one. Then you could put book page, you could put a doily, whatever to cut up, um, to, uh, you know, split up some of the paint. Or you could just put your focal point right on top, whatever you want. Whatever you want to do. Okay, we have five painty phone book stack and whack tags. So, there we go. I'll show them to you real quick. Okay, so there's that one. This one. I love it because you can see the text a little bit through the paint. Fun. Okay, I'm going to stick those under my mat to squish down. Is just you guys just squish down right there okay next project we have plenty of time we do all right so I've got these postcards that are pretty plain on that side we are gonna line those up am I still in camera yeah okay we're going to line these up and we're going to collage the backs with the painted papers. These are going to move on me. I know they are. And plus, they're not all the same size. There's one that's close. That one's pretty close. Okay. So I think I can do 12. Yeah, I'm in camera. Okay, cool. Let's see. These two are smaller. These two are bigger. Let's just line it up as best I can. This is tall. These two are taller, I think. And we're just going to close these. And the first person that I saw do this was Carrie, too. So, kind of a Carrie the Crafter inspired day, isn't it? Oops. See, I'm so bad at getting these lined up. And it, it just makes it easier to cut. It's the only reason I'm worrying about having them lined up. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. My hands are sticky with glue on them. That does not help the situation. Okay. That one. That one. This one. this one. Okay, so I'm just going to collage these and 
since I have some kind of strips here, that's going to be handy. Okay, I'm just going to tear off some of the edge that's really white. Ooh, do I want that or do I want that? I think I want that. And I'm just going to put this down on a crease and hope that it holds things for me. We just plop that right there. Okay, another little strip. Oh, this is a great strip. I love that strip. Okay. I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, so that will kind of hold. Now, I have plenty of scraps there, but I do kind of want, I want these to be different. I don't want them to be exactly like the tags. So, we're going to pull out some more pages like these. Whoops. All right, well, that didn't tear out cleanly, but it's all right. Let me tear this one out. Sorry, I can't do it. Can't do it on my table because I got too much going on there. Let's see what else do we have? Anything super interesting? This one's kind of interesting. I'll show you when I get them out. that's with what we've got that will add a little difference I thought this was kind of cool in this area and then there's this one with the circles on it and then this one so I think what I'll do with this is let me just tear this like out there, maybe. I mean, I could just go right down there. And I think I will. Why not? This corner up there because there's plenty of paint on that. There's not as much, not as much paint on the bottom. So it's gonna go like that. Okay. Um. I'm thinking this one. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna tear these circles out. And kind of put that so it's on four of the cards. That's my plan. I'm sticking to it. It's hard to see. There's blue paint on here that basically matches my glue stick. It's hard to see where I have the glue. Okay, let's just go. Boom. Right like that. Okay. 
Well, at least we have everything glued down now. And this one, I really only want this part. I really, I, it's really pretty though. Really like it. On the A's here. No Augustinelli. At least not that I see. Too far in the A's. The A W A Y A A U A yeah. Okay. Now I can use this. Right. Actually, those. This one's pretty on this side. This one's pretty on this side. And these two. I'm going to allow myself to throw away. Okay. Hmm. I think I want to do this. Just fits. It does not fit that way. So I think I'm gonna go that way with it. it. Doesn't all have to be the right way up and down, does it? Okay. I mainly just wanted to Get another corner done. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull you over a little bit. Um, have that corner. Everything look like it wants to go there. Um, ooh, that's pretty. I think I might, actually I think I might put that there, otherwise that corner postcard would only have two, um, two different pieces on it and I don't know, I kind of want them to have more than that. gonna hang over a little bit on that one because that one's all right okay so what else do we have here got this pretty shiny one look a bonus card <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? Okay, so I think I'm gonna put that there. I think after basketball season's over, I'll be able to get back to some real mixed media play that's messy and, you know, and all of that. Right now, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like I don't want to get that messy. Let's go right there with that one. Okay, that's not exciting. It's an ad, so I'm tossing it. this one 
Maybe I'll go like that. More so like that. Okay. like to use some more of this we could go here and go in the corner let's do that and right about there and maybe right about there that. <laughs> there it is. Oh goodness, the plow's coming by. He's noisy. Okay. Yeah, let's put that there. Like this. That's upside down. Like this. Okay. Um, how about some of this midway? I think I want the pink here. So okay. And put that right there. We may go back and put some smaller pieces in with some of these bigger pieces too. We'll just see what we think when we look at it as a whole. Of course, it's going to look different when we. It's going to look different when we rip it apart. <laughs> when we cut it apart. Okay, there's that there. Um, I'm kind of, that would just be two there, but we could put a little piece on there. Oh, I have to turn off my heater. I'm hot, hot, hot. Okay, so what if we just tear that and use the orange only there. Okay. Use the orange. Guess I'll go there and I'm going to need another little piece to pull that together. Oh, it seems so quiet now that I have my heater off. Okay. Go down a little bit because it's torn. There we go. Okay. Now I need a little piece for that. What do I have? I've got this. Oh, that goes with that. Darn. Well, this will go somewhere else. Let's put it right there. Mmm, we haven't used any of the black, have we? Mm. 
well, there's black in the lettering, I guess. Okay. Um, right there. What would we like? It's not white enough. Looks too similar. Maybe I'll put that there. Oops. Now we've just got ourselves a big old a big old board, don't we? Okay, that's not cool. That's gonna get thrown. Okay. Right there. Looks like I need a little glue right there. glue on that corner. Okay. Let's see. I need a little bitty strip right here. And I think I'm just going to tear that. Oh, this is this is this on this side. Hmm. Maybe I'll go there with it. We have lots of pink and turquoise. We don't have as much with the lettering. So we'll just go boom right there. So we need another skinny piece to go right here. I know that I saw another piece. How do you think that would be? Good. I just need to tear off the edge of it. Okay. And go into that just a little bit. That didn't tear straight at all. No worries. Don't matter. Did my... Oh, phew. I thought my phone shut off again. Been trying everything you guys have told me. So it's been acting pretty good here lately. So we'll hope. If it, <laughs> if it shuts off, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. A little piece. Where did I just threw that. Go there. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, what are we going to put right here? How about... Ooh, either side there. Maybe this side. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very shiny. Doesn't quite reach, does it? So let's go this way and then I'll cut it down. I had a had a moment last night where I was really disappointed that we weren't going to get to go to 
Great Falls. I was so I we haven't seen the kids for a good while, longer than we usually go. And so I was really looking forward to a catch up visit and everything. It's like, oh don't get a go. Oh well. Now there is a little spot there that needs a something. So let's just pop that down there. See, you end up using itty bitty pieces no matter what anyway, so uh, it works out. Okay, now, now what? I mean, that would go great right there. I guess that's, let's just do it. It fits, so we'll put it there this way so the yellow's on the opposite side okay now we've got a little spot right there it's gonna need a little something I might go part way up that okay okay and let's see, down here, we could go with this. I'm going to just take off that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's going to be most of a postcard, so I think I might do this in half and put something else on the other half just so that particular postcard isn't boring. We'll hopefully get these cut out so you can see. Let me put this over here. Then we'll put something else in between those two. They're close in color. Um, how about some of this? I forgot about this. Or I might go up that away with this one. It's um it's got some modeling paste on it. It's kind of cool texture. And I'm just gonna take off this edge. Okay. And we'll put that there. And then we'll cut them. Nope, we got one more. Never mind. Probably use that purple on that other one too. Gonna have to trim that off, but it's raggedy, so the white was showing. Okay, so then how about we put that? that there so we didn't watch the new show tracker after the Super Bowl it was premiering after the Super Bowl but I watched it on demand and I really liked it I like um, the actor, I can't remember his name right now, but um, yeah, I enjoyed it, so that was fun. Okay, so there is our mixed media master board that is made up of postcards. So now let's trim them up and see what we have. I think I'm going to go this way first. These seem to be fairly lined up. I need a lot of stuff for the pockets of my grungy journal. So I thought this would be good. I'd have some tags. I'd have some journal cards. So we'll leave them face down until we get done cutting, okay? 
a little surprise. Okay, this one's hanging over. Got to get rid of that. Okay. Just got a little cutting to do, folks. And then we shall see what we get. I think these would be fun with Tim Holtz people on them for uh, focal point. Oops, veered, I veered. Okay, let's get one more row off here. I'm coming. <laughs> I know I'm I'm out of frame right now, but I'm coming. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oops. Oops. Gosh, Gail, come on. Here we go. Let's just say the collaging skills are a little better than the cutting skills. <laughs> this one has rounded corners too. So I'll have to check that. Some of them do, some of them don't. But all sorts of little livers that need to be taken off. There we go. It's that one. I wish I had some sort of witty repartee to in entertain you with while I do this, but... Uh, I'm all out of the witty repartee today. <laughs> I didn't sleep very good last night. My husband was coughing. I was just like, oh, I'd get to sleep and he would cough. And I was like, oh my gosh. But but you know, for better, for worse. <laughs> we go and mostly I get the better so we'll just go with that yep this one's got little rounded corners too um I think these postcards are tsunami rose if I'm not mistaken I do believe so let me just get rid of some of that and then we can make another pile of it yeah, I think these were a Tsunami Rose digital. And I um, printed them onto cardstock. So they're so they're more postcardish. Hey. Okay. We're almost there. kind of dying to see how they turn out it's so fun to you know just make the big old master board and be kind of looking at it and seeing what does it need and what would you know what color would go there nicely and stuff and and then you t tear them all apart and it doesn't look anything like your master board really Ooh. Off kilter yet again. Josh Hartley, is that the name of the guy that's in Tracker? Maybe. He was on This Is Us. And I liked him on that. He's he's not hard to look at. No, he sure isn't. So, there is that. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. There they are. Okay, so um, they will be, oops. Nope, that's right. They will be this side up. So let's see what we got. Oh, I liked that one a lot. That was the upper corner, wasn't it? So that was this one. That one. This one. Ooh, I like this one. It's got shiny. And then this one only has a couple different things. But, you know, you could put, like, book page down like that if you wanted, whatever, when you decorate it. Ooh, that one's fun. I, those kind of remind me of graffiti for some reason. Okay, so there's that one. And that one. That one goes there, doesn't it? And this one goes here. <laughs> that one. This one, this one's fun. It's got the um, modeling paste on it. And then those two. So we have those. We have our whack and stack tags all made from the phone book. You know how they say you can sing the sound, sing the phone book and sound good? Well, I can't do that, but I can sure make some fun backgrounds out of them. <laughs> there we go. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.